On the CB 650F Widowmaker. No face, no case. <laughs> Love it. Damn, man. That's why you call a machine on two wheels. I can't afford a super bike, so I got myself a scooter. Uh huh. Well, I'm still on two wheels, living my electric scooter life. The only problem is, mine is a bit broke. I'm supposed to have a nice, lovely on and off button, kind of like this, where you press and hold. This turns it on and off. Mine's broke, it doesn't turn on. So I got a lot of work to do with this one. This is how you can fix any scooter out there, boy. In fact, we're gonna double, triple the speed of this one. Let's upgrade our electric e-scooter. Underneath your e-scooter, you should find a cover with Phillips screws. You need a Phillips screwdriver for that, and then you shall reveal the original scooter controller. We'll have a thick blue, green, and yellow wire connected next to a plug with other five wires. These are the wires connected to your front wheel or your hub motor to be direct. Rasta on a bike. Like, subscribe, and all of that, yeah? Or simply the like button. Smash it. I will begin with the phase wires. They're the most obvious and easiest to find. The three thick wires, usually yellow, green, blue. But the first thing I'm gonna do is snip off these beautiful connectors that are brilliant, but I don't have the female versions, so I gotta make my own connections. But anyway, three phase wires for every brushless motor. Yeah, censored, just different Let's not get into that. There's sensor and sensorless motors, but that's a whole other subject. Anyway, there's our connectors snipped off with our wire snippers. Next step, before I even get lost, I'm gonna connect these three, yeah, straight to my brand new controller. The reason I will connect my controller straight away to my phase wires is because there's so many wires you can easily get lost three phase wires as we said yellow green blue after isolating my uh, one two three hub motor phase wires from the controller side and the actual hub motor side, side electric scooter side with some keywords in there i'm just going to snip these beautiful connectors off that i don't have the male versions of i'm just going to make my own connections just going to match this to that you get it okay, so we got our motor phase wires connected my way uh-huh ding, ding, ding. the next thing will be the whole sensors you can tell they're the whole sensors as they go to the same place to the front hub motor on your front wheel unless you got a rear wheel drive doubt it that'd be cool rear wheel drive do some wheelies and whatnot on an e-scooter bro oh anyway whole sensor time let's get it Whole sensors can look a bit tricky because of the many wires that you need to connect. So from your scooter or vehicle, e-bike, whatever you're working on, you should have a bunch of wires next to your phase wires, right? It's about five wires, usually red, yellow, blue, green, black. On your brand new controller, right? You should have a plug that has the same sort of wiring. In all this junk over here, you should be able to find a similar plug with about five wires. So, just like magic, I should find my five wires like so. <laughs> we have blue, black, green, yellow, and red. Okay? They swipe all the rest away. These connect to that you just gotta match up the wires red to red yellow to yellow blue to blue and all, and all that stuff yeah subscribe now stripping the insulation of the copper wires with my teeth that's my red phase wire connect i'm gonna snip off another color hey let's go for yellow i'm gonna snip off yellow and snip off yellow over here and match them up Simples. So if you've done things one by one, you should be left with just like one cable on each side. Right now, I go black to black. I always leave my power cables till last. Yeah, don't power the vehicle if you're messing with the wires. So power cables till last. Phase wires and hub motor wires first. Yeah, let's keep things safe out here. 
dodgy but safe. Connecting our five hole sensor wires and our three phase wires, we basically have our motor connected to the controller. The brains are connected to the muscle. You know, the boss and the worker guy, employee, since now our motor's connected, right? The next stage we could do with our throttle being connected. So we can control our hub motor through our controller. Yeah. And I match up the colors. I've got green, red, black. Just the same as over here. Ignoring the yellow. That will be our throttle connected to control our hub motor that we've already connected using the phase and hole sensor wires to our controller. You still with me? Step by step guide of your e-scooter upgrade. Controller upgrade. To be sure, I isolated the throttle by removing the handlebars. Show me the throttle wires. I just wanted to make sure I was correct on the colors. Red, green, black are the throttle wires found at the dashboard of your e-scooter. Connect them to your controller. These are the wires coming from the down tube, which lead to our throttle, yeah? Ignoring the yellow wire. The one we need is the one that says throttle handle. Took my throttle wires, which is the red, green, black right there, and connected them directly to my wire coming from the down tube, matching the same colors. I've ignored my lighting, I've chopped off my LCD screen, no more LCD screen. So now I'm just going to tuck in my wires where my LCD screen is supposed to be. I'm going to use my original cover just like so as just as a little cover not special not functional no lcd screens or anything like that just to make it look a bit prettier in theory we have throttle connected hub motor connected all to our e-scooter where it was an e-bike controller connected to our e-scooter the next step would be to power the controller from the battery. I have these XT connectors. This one's from my controller. This one's from my battery. The issue I have is two different sizes. So I'm going to change the battery side to match the controller side. You'll be safer and easier to change the controller side. But I'm backward like that. I'm just built backward, boy. Electric bike controllers have a red and orange wire that is used for ignition. This usually goes to your key switch ignition, usually marked as electric door lock. I'm simply using a jumper cable to turn my vehicle on and on. This is to turn on the controller on and off by literally jumping the orange to the yellow cable. After that, and making sure my battery is connected. And then all you need, all you need, all you need is to tuck them wires in, right? Don't mess it up. All you need, all you need, all you need is to close it back. Uh, don't fuck it up. That's my on and off button at the moment because I don't have one. So I gotta work something out with that. Maybe a little secret button somewhere. I'll work it out. But for now, system's working. I'm gonna put it all back together. System's working. On and off button. That's a later afterthought. Yeah. Pow! Battery connections over here. I got XT60 connections or the XT90. I do not know. Correct me in the comments. I do not know. All I know is they're waterproof and they work, baby. Carry big power, big wattage. Let's Electric scooter fixed. Let's test it. This thing flies. You gotta see how this thing moves, man. You gotta watch this video, yes? Click it now.